Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at what's on my Android device for July 2015. So, let's take a look. Okay guys, so I'm first going to go through what I've actually got on each of my home pages. Now as you know, I normally keep my Android device quite minimal, however lately I have been using quite a lot of widgets and also having multiple pages. So on the first page I've got my favourite widget of all time which is Dash Clock. As you can see here I've got my next alarm, unread emails, Phoenix for Twitter and also the weather. Down the bottom I've got my most used application, so here you've got camera, contacts, WhatsApp and also YouTube. On the next page I've got my Google Fit widget and then here you can see the amount of steps that I've taken throughout the day and I've exceeded my goal by around 1,700 steps. On here I've got my Twitter client of choice which is Phoenix, Google Plus, Photos and also Spotify which is my streaming music service of choice. On the last page I've got my Google Now widget so again it's got all of the information that I want to know about and it's also got the temperature as well and down below there I've got Google Drive, Maps, the Play Store and also YouTube Studio so that again I can reply to your comments, look at how videos are doing and just in general keep track of YouTube. In terms of the actual app tray itself I do keep it quite minimal, I don't really have too many applications on here. So again starting from the top I've got AdSense so again I can keep track of YouTube and my Google account. Alien Creeps which is an awesome game and I'm actually going to be doing a specific video on that so I'm not necessarily going to go into that in too much detail. I then got Asphalt 8, Badland which again is an awesome game and if you want to see any of these applications in more detail leave them in the comment section down below. I then got a bunch of standard Google applications including Chrome, the calculator, the camera, contacts etc and then I've then got Facebook and Phoenix which again is what I use for Twitter. On the next page, again not really too much here, I've got Hound which is a great application by SoundCloud and again I'm going to be doing a full app review on that very shortly. I've then got Instagram, Leo's Fortune which is an awesome game, Monument Valley which is pretty much my favourite game of all time on Android, Moto which again has some awesome features in here for the Moto X specifically and again if you do want to see any of these videos in full then again leave it in the comment section down below and I can see what I can do. Again I've then got some standard Google applications down here as well including including all of the play accessories, so play games, movies, music and also new stand and books. And on the last page I've got the Play Store, Pushbullet which is an awesome application for note taking and also transferring files back and forth between PC and my phone. I've then got a screen recording application so if I need to record the screen for any app reviews or game reviews then that's the application that I use. I've then got the standard Google Sheets and Slides, Speed Test because for some reason I always test internet speed pretty much wherever I go. Again I've then got Spotify and YouTube Studio and I've also got a new application called Tuba and what that basically allows me to do is look at all of my YouTube subscriptions without having anything else in the background. So all it's going to have on here is the subscriptions that I follow, it's not going to have anything else that you'd normally get on the YouTube application. If you click just up here in the top corner, all it will show is new videos that I haven't yet watched. So it's a great application to keep track of your YouTube and it only really has on there things that you want to watch. I've then got Vivo for my music videos, Wally which is a great application for getting some awesome wallpapers, WhatsApp and then also YouTube. So as you can see it's very minimal in terms of the stuff that I've got on here but I have started to use it more in terms of widgets on my home screen and also just in general having multiple home screens. Now as I mentioned guys if you want any more information regarding any of the apps that I've gone over in this short video then be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have got any questions again you can reach me on Twitter at Copper vs Glass, on Google Plus or here on YouTube. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video.